Gaston County emotional moments in court for a local businessman accused of killing two family members. I didn't mean to hurt him. <laughs> Roger Self's voice shaking as he entered an Alford plea. This is done when a defendant maintains his innocence but admits the state has sufficient evidence to convict him and agrees to be treated as guilty. Self drove his car into a restaurant back in May of 2018, killing his daughter and daughter in law. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has been covering this story since it happened almost three years ago. He joins us now live with more. Brandon. Well, Sarah, it really cannot be overstated how much of an impact this story has had on people throughout Gaston County. This is a prominent family involved in some of the most visible entities in Gaston County, the Sheriff's Office, Gaston County Police, Gastonia Police, Caramont Medical Center. And this family has had such an impact. It's patriarch Roger Self. Everyone had been following this moment when they were expecting this to happen. This wasn't how Gaston County Sheriff's Corporal Caitlin Self planned for this day to end. What she envisioned as a family lunch after Sunday services ends with her and her sister-in-law, Amanda Self, dead. They were hit and killed by Caitlin Self's father, Roger Self. After he excused himself from a table inside the Surf and Turf Lodge, got into his SUV, accelerated, and crashed into the dining room. Please, the court. This afternoon, Roger Self pleaded guilty pursuant to Alford in the deaths of Caitlin and Amanda Self. He had never publicly commented on what happened until this afternoon in court. <laughs> Injured in that. As District Attorney Locke Bell read the names of all the family members he killed and injured. I'm Joshua Self, son. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt him. His brother Monty Self says today brings some closure. And it's been a very difficult almost three years, but our family's strong and our faith in God is very strong. But the two of you will be able to. A sentencing hearing will be held April 12th. Self's attorney, Rick Beam, says his client suffered mental health issues, which led to his actions that day. As you might imagine, over the last almost three years now, uh, he's had a lot to deal with and coming to grips with what occurred. Before being led back to his jail cell, Self tried to talk to his family. I love you. I love you, Daddy. You're my hero. You're my hero. I love you, Mommy. I love you. Self sentencing hearing is expected to last about two to four days. The maximum punishment he faces is life in prison without parole. Live at the Gaston Kelly Courthouse, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Brandon, thank you, Fred.